Hi, grade 7, 8. Uh, this is lesson 10 for our fractions unit in math. Today we're going to have a look at some more subtracting fractions for grade 7. And in grade 8 we're going to look at um, multiplying mixed numbers um, using a grid model for that and also uh, finding an easier way to do that as well. So um, let's look at some subtracting fractions first. So with adding and subtracting fractions, we have to find that common denominator. So here we have a question, two-thirds minus two-fifths. So in thirds and fifths, we have to find that lowest common denominator. So we make a grid that has 15 sections. And I'm showing two-thirds in my first grid, so I'm filling out two rows out of three with red dots. That's showing two-thirds. In the next section, I figured out that two-fifths would be two columns out of the five. So these cancel out because we're subtracting and we are left with four fifths, sorry, four fifteenths left over. So if we show that with uh, equivalent fractions and finding common denominators, that'd be 10 fifteenths minus six fifteenths, which is equal to four six fifteenths, sorry. So let's try that on our own here with a new one. So two thirds minus one half. So we're going to have a grid that is two by three. So six sections filled in. And my first one is going to have two thirds of that. So that's going to be four sixths minus one half. I'm going to make another grid with six sections. One half of that would be one full row. That's going to be three sixths. So if I take those and cancel them out, so there's one for one, one for one, one for one, I'm left with one sixth left over. So that's my answer is one sixth. So if we show that, finding common denominators, that'd be four sixths minus three sixths is equal to one sixth. Okay, so grade seven, you guys have some practice questions to try with that. Um, if you have any questions, let Mr. Roofer or myself know. We can do a video chat or text back and forth. Grade eight, we are multiplying mixed numbers today. So we're going to use this grid method first with partial areas. So I've got three and one third. I've drawn that here, three and one third. And then I've got two and one third going down. And what we've done is... We've made boxes around the holes and then the fractions. So we end up with four rectangles in the end. So, and then we've, we multiply for the area for each rectangle. And then we add those answers up. So here I've got three times two. We're all, we should all be good with that. That's six. Over here I have two times one third. Is it going to equal two thirds? Down at the bottom I have three times one third which is equal to three-thirds, which is the same as one whole. And then I have a fraction times a fraction for my smallest rectangle, or it looks like a square. One-third times one-third is going to be one-ninth. So I have to add all of those areas up to get my answer. So I have six plus one plus two-thirds plus one-ninth. So the whole numbers can be added really easily. We've got seven holes. And then the fractions, we have to find the common denominator for adding fractions. It would be nine, so we have six-ninths plus one-ninth. So my answer ends up being seven and seven ninths. Let's try one together here. So I'm gonna go two and two thirds down, one and four fifths across. So here's my two and two thirds. This will be one and four fifths. Then I start filling in my numbers. So this will be 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. 2 times 4 fifths is equal to 8 fifths, which is equivalent to 1 and 3 fifths. 1 times 2 thirds is going to be 2 thirds. And 2 thirds times four fifths is going to be equal to eight fifteenths. So now I just have to take these four areas and add them together to get my answer. So I've got two plus one and three fifths 
plus 2 thirds plus 8 fifteenths. So I can add the whole numbers. I got three holes. And then I got to use the common denominator to add these fractions. That would be a common denominator of 15. So I'm going to have um, 5 times 3 is 15. So then 3 times 3 is 9 plus 3 times 5 is 15. And 2 times 5 is 10 fifteenths plus 8 fifteenths. So when I add those fifteenths together, I have 9 plus 10 is 19 plus another 8 is 27 fifteenths. That means there's another hole in there. So I'm going to have four holes. When I take 27 minus 15, I'm left with 12 fifteenths left over. And 12 fifteenths can be put into lower terms. I'm going to end up with 4 and then 12 and 15 you can divide by 3. So it's going to be 4 and 4 fifths is my final answer. Okay, there is an easier way. So, before we talk about the easier way, we have to learn how to convert mixed numbers back into improper fractions. So we take the number of parts that the whole is being divided into and multiply that times the number of holes that we have. So uh, 3 times 5 is 15. So 15 thirds would be 5 holes. But then we add the parts that we have. So we have 2 thirds in parts. So we're going to add the 2 to 15. So that ends up being 17 thirds. Okay, so we have to be able to change that mixed number back into an improper fraction. So let's look at an, an example. We have 3 and 1 third times 2 and 1 third. So 3 times 3 plus 1. It's going to be 9 plus 1 is 10 thirds. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 thirds. And then we just use the rule for multiplying fractions. We multiply the numerators. Multiply the denominator. So we've got 10 times 7 is 70. 3 times 3 is 9. One last step, change it back to a mixed number, and then we've got to make sure it's in lowest terms. So uh, the closest we can get to 70 when we divide by 9 is 63. Um, 7 times 9 is 63. And we have 7 ninths left over to get up to 70. So that's our final answer, and that is in lowest terms. All right, so let's try one together quick here. So we're going to do 9 times 7 is 63, plus 2 is 65. So I'm going to have 65 over 9. On this side, we're going to have 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 is 27. That's 27 over 4. Now I'm going to get my phone out with a calculator to figure out what 65 times 27 is. 65 times 27 is equal to 1,755. It's a lovely number for a fraction. And then the base, the denominator is going to be 9 times 4, which is 36. So one last step to make sure this is uh, back into a mixed number. So I take 1,755 divided by 36. I get 48 holes. Now this one works out pretty easy because the decimal is decimal 75. We should recognize decimal 75 as being three quarters. So my answer to that question is 48 and three quarters. We've got a few practice questions to work on there today. If you're stuck on any of this, send Mr. Roofer or myself a message and we will get you some help. We can do a video call or just text back and forth. Um, good luck.